welcome. Welcome to um, my little chat, my little postpartum update. We are around two months postpartum. Yeah, it's been a doozy. Not really. It's actually, I feel like it's been, it's been pretty good. Um, I, well, okay, maybe it's been a little bit harder, I think, the adjustment, but we've also been kind of busy lately. Hi. Why are you mad? I think every single time has gotten maybe a little bit more layered. How's it look? How's it going? Okay. All right, so uh, all good things. Cohen is probably... <laughs> is there spit coming out? Okay. That was a big burp. He's probably around 12 pounds now. The last time I weighed him, he was like 11 and a half pounds and that was a week or so ago. Um, so he is like growing like a weed. He is sleeping, I mean, pretty good chunks through the night. I wouldn't say like all night. I know I for sure wake up and nurse him back to sleep at least once, maybe twice some nights. But overall, I don't feel like super sleep deprived um, other than my own light sleeping and waking up. And we have just about reached the point where my milk supply is leveled out, so I'm not having to pump every two hours, thankfully. Um, maybe pumping like once a day in addition to nursing him full time. So that's kind of a relief um, just because it's less to do and less to wash and less that I have to like sit and be tied to something. What? That's not a relief to you? He gets as much milk as he wants. We are nursing on demand, so that's not an issue for him. You know, that I'm not pumping. He still gets whatever he needs, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> obviously. Okay, I am struggling right now with brain fog. This is funny because it happens to be one of the symptoms of the thing I was about to tell you guys about anyway. Um, I think otherwise, as far as like adjusting, the kids have all been super great, super helpful. They love him. Israel loves him. Israel does not know quite how to be gentle. It's very funny. He's all boy. Like the girls instinctively knew around a baby like, okay, oh yes. Mm -hmm nice little baby you know but Israel's like oh I like you let me poke your eyes and let me just bop you in the face and see what happens and I know he's not trying to hurt him because he also just comes up and like like nestles him and kisses him but then he like bops him too so <laughs> that's been interesting it's the first time I've had a baby that I have to like nurse and put an arm up and play defense um, I think that's made it a little bit exhausting and challenging but Oh, you're about to fall asleep. Oh yeah. But fun and a different dynamic than I think what we're used to, so that's been interesting. I am feeling a little bit more like myself. Um, I don't want to say like my old, old self, but like my, I feel a lot better than I do when I'm pregnant. Um, I think my hormones are kind of still all over the place. You obviously have a lot of changes when you're pregnant and then a lot of changes when you give birth and it takes a while for things to balance out, but I'm still in an area where I feel like I'm struggling, maybe hormonally. Oh, hi. Just like some symptoms of like hormonal imbalance that I've noticed. <clears throat> and I think it could be related to like, I'm not eating the best. I'm kind of at like when I'm nursing and hungry, I'm just eating whatever I feel like. I'm probably not eating enough protein. I'm probably eating too much sugar. Um, and I think that's translating to just feeling more tired than I could. Like I'm tired because I have a newborn, but I think there's like levels to it. I think I could have more energy. Um, and maybe having just like not as sharp <laughs> mentally. I feel like I'm struggling some days to really string sentences together. Just struggling with like just feeling bloated and feeling like sluggish my digestive system bogged down like I'm not like body odor is a whole thing TMI maybe but you know my deodorant was great and working and then all of a sudden I'm like it's not working anymore and I think that's because my body chemistry is changing as my hormones are fluctuating so we're trying to kind of navigate through that and figure out what to do um, and I'm really excited because we had a really cool opportunity to partner with a company called Well Theory. They reached out to us and asked us about connecting and sponsoring this video. Um, they 
basically it's a membership club for help walking through autoimmune issues. Uh, when I talked to one of the nurse practitioners there, she told me that they can also help navigate some of the symptoms of hormonal imbalance uh, through basically what they do is lifestyle and nutrition coaching. And if you guys don't know, we have celiac disease in our family, which is an autoimmune condition. And then Adeline actually has vitiligo, which is like a secondary one for her. Usually people with one autoimmune disorder are at higher risk of developing more throughout their life, whether it be something like Hashimoto's or diabetes. Autoimmune has been something on our radar since our daughter Elena was diagnosed with celiac disease when she was four, so about six years ago, and we were kind of navigating that completely in the dark on our own. I started researching it on my own and figuring out what we needed to do and how to best support her and help her, but I remember distinctly when John was 25, so before we even had Elena, he had gone to the doctor about shoulder pain that he had been having and the doctor basically just like on the spot diagnosed him with with arthritis at 25 years old with no like it was kind of like a yeah it's probably just this I guess like there wasn't he gave him a pill he just kind of dismissed it um, and wrote it off which it was just not normal so then fast forward to after finding out one uh, that Elena had celiac disease and two that it is genetic and can and hereditary we started looking at the symptoms of it which include like joint pain hello so when John cut out gluten from his diet his joint pain like significantly was improved all this to say if we had had something like well theory then where we could connect with someone in between doctor's visits he may have had answers even sooner we may have had answers for elena even sooner um, or just have like not had to navigate those situations alone where you're trying to learn a whole new diet what triggers it what um because there were so many other foods even for elena in the beginning she couldn't have oats because they were similar or quinoa and we had to find all of that on our own it was really difficult so all that to say um we were like elated to partner with Wealth Theory because I don't think we've ever had a brand that was quite as perfectly aligned with our family or our audience as this. We have people all the time asking us for advice or where to go or how to start like making changes when they when they are diagnosed with different autoimmune issues and like we don't always know how to answer that or help but this is the perfect place and the perfect resource because they are functional medicine practitioners. They are uh, well equipped and most of them either have an autoimmune disease themselves or have like thoroughly trained in it and that is like their specialty. So they can walk you through like the diet changes, lifestyle changes, whatever you need to kind of get back, alleviate some of the symptoms and start feeling your absolute best despite the condition you're struggling with. So the way it works is a membership that you pay for and then you get plugged into this online community, you get connected with a specialist, um, you get to do a Zoom call with them every month and then you have access to text message them if you have questions or concerns or need help in between. Kind of like a direct ear to listen to you in between doctor's appointments or you know your routine care. Um, I feel like sometimes we go into the doctor and and really need them to sit with us and explain things thoroughly and dive into problems, dive into our symptoms and help us get to the bottom and and they just don't have the time to do that. I think even though some of them really would want to do that and would make that effort if they could, they have slots in their day and they just don't have the time. So that's what makes this so amazing. You can literally have somebody there just about any time you need them. And I think people really underestimate how valuable that is, especially in like the very beginning stages of of finding out you have an autoimmune condition where your whole world is turned upside down. You have to eat like you've never eaten before. You have to um, make lifestyle changes, maybe like exercise, maybe you know, getting out of your house, doing things you're not necessarily comfortable with or familiar with. And so having a support system in place can literally make or break like your experience navigating it and just make it into something positive and hopeful instead of something that feels alone and scary so this is like I said one of the brand partnerships that I have like truly been excited about to share because I think that it's gonna help so many of you guys who've reached out to us maybe your friends or family and loved ones 
um, that are struggling too, this would be something that you could share with them. We get to give you a link with $50 off your first month. It's in the description of this video. Just click on that, go sign up. Let us know if you do and let us know how you love it because um, like I said, that's the one thing we get so many messages about and so to see people have that community and support and a positive experience navigating this is something that like is really near and dear to my heart um, and something I wish I had for myself. But anyway, that's our little share and plug for Well Theory. Super excited. Don't forget about the link. If you know somebody who could use it, share it with them. Oh, so I forgot to tell you, I am actually going to be using Well Theory. I'm really excited. Um, filling out the forms with all the questions they give you, like these big questionnaires. And as I was looking over it, I was like, okay, this is something I think I need to do for myself. I don't have like an autoimmune disease that I know of, but a lot of the things are resonating with me, with me like brain fog, lack of energy, you know, and just like fatigue, uh, bloating, like digestive issues. I was just cr sugar cravings, like so many things on the list. I was like, okay, I want someone to talk to me <laughs> because I think that there's some changes I need to make. I want, we have eight children. Like I want to feel my best. I want to be able to keep up with them. I want this postpartum, the rest of it, you know, to feel like I did after I had my first and second babies. Like I think I've kind of gradually like slid down the scale of unwellness over the last several years. And so I just, I'm really looking forward to getting down to like how I can move my body more, how I can eat differently, um, and just support my body through the, the hormonal changes, through all of that. Um, so that's what I'm personally using it for. I'm really excited. But I'll let you guys know how it goes and keep you updated along that process. Um, if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Again, thanks for listening to our little plug. If you guys do click on the link and sign up, please let me know. I want to root for you, cheer for you, and say thank you when you shop things through our links. It supports our family. It means so much to us. But <laughs> John, he's sucking on his tongue and it's so cute. Anyway, that's that's kind of where we're at. You know, I feel overall good and hopeful. I feel like I know I have some changes to make to feel my best physically um, and maybe mentally, but I feel like excited about what's coming. I feel excited to see him grow and to see the friendship that develops with him in Israel. I think brothers is going to be a really special thing that we just won't know until we're like are there you know and, and seeing it but I'm anticipating all the best for that so right now I'm just gonna hold him love him soak in all the newness he is almost out of the newborn stage I know I feel the same way about it buddy and um, yeah I'm kind of looking forward to like entering the next season of life without not without like the diapers and the things, but like just getting to watch them all grow now. That's where I'm at. So we're super grateful for you guys. We love you and we will talk to you soon.